250 discontinued products from our childhood. Some of these products are dangerous, expired, and some are even 60 years old. So let's go give them a try. Starting with Crocodile Adventure. There was a version of it that came out in 1990 called Crocodile Dentist Adventure, but they discontinued it because too many kids were getting hurt. So this is a newer knockoff version of the game, and Brent and I are gonna play it right now. So you have to press in one tooth, and hopefully it's not the tooth that will trigger the thing to go and bite you. I'm gonna go first. Three, two. Ah. Ah. He laughs at you after he bites you. I hate that. It oh hurts. my god, I hate this game. The McDonald's Shake Maker. 1993 McDonald's made a lot of things like a burger, fry, and shake maker. But in my hands, I have the only working McDonald's ice cream machine in the world. Why is the ice cream machine always broken? It's always broken. So it comes with these little straws, lids, and cups. <gasps> That's Ooh. so cute. Literally all you need is instant pudding mix and milk. Okay, so I'm gonna add some milk. And done. I'm gonna add two spoons of vanilla pudding mix. And then we just mix. Okay, let's see if we have a shake. Whoa. Uh. Oh, no! All right, we have a little McDonald's shake. Cheers. Oh, that didn't mix it very well. No, I don't know if this is the machine or operator error, but that was disgusting. That was not good. No wonder the ice cream machine is always broken. Yeah, I mean, look at ours. Moon shoes. So here they are. They were honestly a pain to build, but I'm pretty excited for these, because, you know, I'm pretty short. These might give me some extra height. We have them on. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty awesome. All right, so apparently, get these off the ground, so we're gonna do a little jump. Oh, okay. Really windy today, and I'm a little worried the wind might knock me over. A Game Boy Color. This was discontinued in 2003, but they're still really popular because this was sold for over $200. And the games themselves are even more expensive. So here we have a Bug's Life, so we're gonna put this in and see if it works. All right, let's see if it works. I cannot believe that I'm playing on a Game Boy right now. So these are Fruit Loop cereal straws. They were discontinued in 2009, but when they were discontinued, a lot of people were begging for them back. So the company brought them back in 2021. I'm gonna be keeping these in a safe place in case they decide to discontinue these again. Let's give them a try. Oh my God. Every one of these straws is not together. So should we try it with a drink? Fruit Loop cereal straw, let's do it. I'm scared. Whoa, this is life changing. And you guys, you can do this. Okay, tastes good. I'm not a big cereal person, but you guys go get these before they discontinue them again. The Rock'em Sock'em. There are a lot of different versions of this game, but this is the original one from 1964. It requires two players, and I know exactly who I feel like fighting. Brent, are you ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, two one, one, fight! Go. Move! Oh, you move. Uh, headshot. I'm clearly winning. Headshot. Oh! This game is stupid. No, it's not. Yeah, this should stay discontinued. So this is the clapper. It came out in the 1970s, and apparently it's a sound-activated on and off switch for appliances. So I plugged it into my TV and the Nintendo, and we're gonna see if it turns on from me clapping. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, this definitely should have stayed in the 70s because it doesn't work, and we still have light switches. I like the concept. I thought I could trick it, you know, maybe like it's not paying attention now. So this is Blue Pepsi. This is actually insane. It looks really good. It does look good, but apparently it was discontinued in 2002 because people didn't like it. We'll be the judge of that. Yes, we will. Let's crack it open. Smell this. It smells like a, like a closet. And it smells like soap. It does. It, right? It smells like dish soap. Oh my god, it tastes like this soap. I can see why it was discontinued. This is a Fushigi. It came out in 2010, but it didn't last very long because the commercials were deceiving. So the point was for it to be an illusion and to make it look like the ball was floating, but clearly that's not what this is. The commercials made it seem a lot cooler. I am so excited for this. Every year for Christmas, I would ask my parents for an Easy Bake Oven, and I never got one. But here I am, 22 years old, and I have an Easy Bake Oven, and I bought it myself. Anyways, we're about to try to make something in this oven, and hopefully we don't burn the house down. Wow, she's beautiful. Obviously, this product is discontinued, which means we had to buy it from some random person on eBay. It didn't come with the entire kit, but we're gonna be making a s'more. All right, let's plug this bad boy in. <laughs> All right. Thank goodness this still works, because otherwise we'd be making a very angry complaint to Sizzlin' oh. Seller on eBay. And I'm sure he wouldn't want that, because I would come in sizzling. All right, we have our uncooked s'more right here. Let's put it in the Easy Bake Oven. The s'more is in the oven. You can't really see what's going on in there, so I guess now we wait. Okay, it is ready. Let's see what we got. We got it. 
It fully baked the s'more. Okay, here we go. Taste test. Oh my god. And your old me would have loved this. These are jars and they were discontinued in 1989 because they didn't want kids playing with sharp objects. It went so far to the point where it's actually illegal for the company to sell them. So why the heck would you buy them? Because Jeremy, we're adventurous. We're gonna open this up and see if it's actually as dangerous as they say it is. Goal of the game is to get these inside of the yellow circle. And I see why they were discontinued. Look at how sharp. These are. Wait, is it cool if I get some practice? Jeremy, don't even joke. I don't need joke. Hey, I need to warm up. Stop. Here, catch it, ready? No, this is actually like really sharp just a touch. Yeah, very not safe. Two, one. Oh! Okay, first try. Three, two. Oh, oh wow. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh my god, this is so much pressure. Wow. Since you lost, we have to go on a date now. No, what? Here we have a Johnny Astro Explorer. I'm pretty excited about this one because it is, I think, one of the oldest products we have. So this toy is from the 1960s, making it over 60 years old. I'm really curious to see if this thing still holds up. You guys, I think I just got scammed. Apparently, I didn't read the listing correctly because the seller was only selling the box. I spent $40 on a box. I guess I'll never get to play with Johnny Astro. Well, obviously, these have been sitting around for a while because the box is disgusting. It's exploded. So these are Dunkaroos. They were discontinued in 2012 because the sugar content was too high. I so, feel like, as a kid, you want more sugar. Exactly, but I think that was the problem. That's the problem. They're gonna be running around everywhere. I'm not impressed at the moment. Oh my god. Frosting mm. looks like pudding that's been laying around for 40 years. This was not what I was expecting. Let's try one. Okay, we're gonna just dip it in. I kind of like it. Me too. I kind of like it. If I was a kid, I would like eat this all by itself. I'm giving these a 10. No, it tastes like cookie dough. These are really good. I'm rating it a 10 too. Wow, bring Dunkaroos back. Mm -hmm. We have Heelys here and they were discontinued in 2009 because too many kids were getting injured. And I can tell you that this is true because one of my brothers actually broke their arm because of Heelys. This is literally like going rollerblading. I'm a little nervous to try this. These are six and women's. I'm not fitting in those. This is all you. I think there's gonna be another person in the Rivera family that's gonna break their arm today. Don't say that. Oh, hey, you're the one who bought them and this is your video idea. Who needs a bike when you have oh. wheels on your freaking shoe? Whoa. <laughs> now we're gonna try going down the biggest hill in the neighborhood. No, we're definitely not doing that. I can see how Heelys could be pretty dangerous and I think we should stop while I'm still alive. No, let's go. All right, let's go again. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Hungry Hungry Hippos. This game was released in 1978, but this is the 1994 version which you cannot buy anymore. Why is this one so dirty? Well, because it's used and it was very hard to find. Ew, look at this. It's like gross stuff all over it. Yeah, definitely like little kids with sticky fingers are playing this. I do not want to touch this. Okay, the goal for this game is to get as many balls in your side as possible. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa! Wait, mine broke. Well, I just got a ton. <laughs> Look at how many I have. Mine are broken. Definitely from 1994, because it is very broken. But I still won. But you cheated, because it's slanted to the right, because it's broken. A lot of the products that were even older than this one worked better, so let's move on to the next product. I'm terrified for this one. Here we have Frosted Crusty O's. The name itself is grossing me out. This cereal is from the Simpsons movie that came out in 2008. And to prove it to you, the expiration date on this cereal is June 1st of 2008. So yeah, this cereal is literally 15 years old, so we're gonna open it, see what's inside, and see if it's safe to eat. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it smells like if a vintage store like threw up. Okay, since I might die today, I'm gonna just do everything, you know, crazy. So we're gonna put the milk before the cereal. Let me know if anyone else does this. Oh my God, that smell. I think I might die if I try this. Since this is actually unsafe, I'm only gonna be trying one just for you guys. So here we go, 15 year old Crustios down the hatch. They're so stale. I can't. Oh God. Oh my God. Whoever kept these for 15 years definitely kept them in the bag for a reason. So this is the Uzinator. It's a pretty ugly squirt gun and it was actually discontinued because the slime that squirts out of it was hazardous to children. But luckily there's no children around, so we're gonna go for it. Three, two, one. Why in the world? The sound that it makes when it comes out. This is actually gross. This thing is disgusting. This isn't even fun, this is just gross. So before Netflix, this is how you would watch movies. This is a video now and it was discontinued in 2007. Basically you put a CD inside and you can watch all of your favorite movies on this little screen. Okay, we're gonna watch some Spongebob. Okay, ready? Press to start. <gasps> aye aye, Captain.
Aye, aye, Captain! I have almost every season of Spongebob, so I'll be here all day. This is the Dairy Queen Blizzard Maker. It came out in 1985. No one knows why it was discontinued, but I think they should bring it back, because this seems like a pretty cool concept. Don't speak too soon, because this is what we're turning into a blizzard. It sounds like it's just like like sugar. Yeah, good point. Let's see if it works first. Yeah. Step one was to add ice, salt, and water. We just did that. All we have to do is add the dessert mix and three-fourths cup of half and half. Let's do it. Sounds easy enough. I don't even know how ice cream is made. Yeah, is this how they make it? Now we're gonna add some half and half. It really just feels like, oh, it's getting a little thicker. Is it dissolving? Now we have all the ingredients in our blizzard maker, but now all we have to do is mix. So we're gonna be mixing for 10 minutes, and then hopefully we have ourselves a nice little blizzard at the end. All right, we've been mixing this for about 10 minutes. I think we have ice cream. Please be a blizzard. Oh my God. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we have our blizzards. We're gonna give them a try in three, two, one. Mmm, tastes good at the first. aftertaste. Yeah, good at the beginning because it's the yeah. consistency of a, of a blizzard. It's a little stringy, like it tastes like like saliva texture. Ugh. Thanks for coming to Dairy Queen. Here you go. Here's your blizzard. There you go. This is the Poochie Robot Dog. It was released in 2002, but also discontinued in 2002. So wait, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to just act like a dog. All right, let's crack it open and give it a try. So we have a real dog here, and we have the Poochie Dog, and it is barking. Let's see how a real dog and a robot dog interact. Look, is that your friend? Oh. No, hey, come back here. Hey, don't be antisocial. See, I don't really understand the point of this. Yeah, what is like, this what's even? fun about this? I think I'm gonna be sticking with real dog. I don't think real dogs like you though, Jeremy. Yeah, they do. This is the Fisher Price Giant TV Music Box. I have never even heard of this thing because it was discontinued in the 1960s. Oh my gosh. But you probably know about this because you're like a dinosaur. What does it do? I think it literally just plays music. It's like a little TV you're watching. Oh. Oh, whoa. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like this. And the song is getting a little annoying. How do you turn this thing off? Should we just get up and leave? Yeah, it's taking too long to end. All right, it's kind of annoying us, so we're just gonna go. All right, so these are Melody Pops. Before they were discontinued, they were actually called Whistle Pops, but they made a comeback in 2015, and Pierce and I are lucky enough to get to try these. It doesn't look like a whistle. It looks like it's gonna be like gum. I wonder if it's gonna be more like fun or more like tasty. Ooh, wait, that looks del this? What the heck? How that was so it? cool! Like a real whistle. Oh my god, that was so good! Oh Shut my up. gosh! This is, why have I never heard of this? These should have never been discontinued. Wait. Not only are these cool because they're a whistle, but they taste really good. They do, they taste like what? Strawberry? Mm -hmm. Cotton candy? How old are these? From 2006. <coughs> What's wrong? 2006? That's almost 20 years ago. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna get sick from this. This is a Sky Dancer. It was released in 1994, but discontinued in 2000 because over 100 people got injured. I'm not gonna lie, I did have this when I was a kid and I loved it. Why are we gonna try it again if we know that this is dangerous? Well, we just have to make sure. Supposedly you pull this and she spins and flies up. Three, two. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Oh. It's actually pretty fun, but I would not recommend buying this. Actually, you can't even buy it because it's discontinued. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to buy this anyways, guys. So these are clackers. They were discontinued in 1971, but we were able to get our hands on them. Brenner's going to show you why these are discontinued. Right, you just go like this, uh -huh. you go like that. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, hey. Ow, that hurt. Really dangerous. This is Surge. It's owned by Coca-Cola, and it was actually discontinued from schools in the early 2000s. And Coca-Cola ended up shutting down the brand completely because they were spreading rumors about other drink companies. Expiration date on this is 2002. Two. Let's give this a try. Ew, this even feels like rusted. All right, bottoms up. Oh my God. Oh my God. The taste is like lingering in my mouth. It literally tastes like Sprite mixed with sewage. This is not good. So this one is actually insane. This is the old McDonald's Happy Meal bag from 1998 and it still has the toy that came with it. So this is a Tamagotchi and they were discontinued in 2021, but this one is from 1998. I hope this one still works because it's been sitting around for 25 years. Okay, I don't think this is a real Tamagotchi, but it is a cool keychain. Might sell this on eBay. I found a few eBay listings where this goes for over $100, but I got this for 15. This is the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Factory. So this allows you to make Chuck E. Cheese pizza at home. Came out in 1999 and was discontinued for unknown reasons. So Paris and I have our uncooked pizzas right here and we're gonna place them into the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Maker and Ooh. we're gonna watch some magic happen. Look, and you can actually see it through this little, oh my God, it's so cute! Ah! There we go. Okay. Okay, she is ready. <gasps> Stop, oh. you're joking. It's hot. What? 
I love this thing. And it actually comes with this own little like pizza knife. Italiano, buon appetito. Buon appetito. How many pieces are we cutting? <laughs> it's a real it's pizza. It's already tiny, Pearson. Look it. Oh Stop. my god, and that's then... so cute. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that is so good. This is so good. I'm telling you, mm. they need to bring this back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start a petition. Mm -hmm. Me you too. Sign it. I'll be the first one. This is the infamous Cabbage Patch doll. So this was discontinued in 1997 because apparently it was eating people's fingers and hair. Okay, we're about to see if the reason for ban is accurate or not. I'm about to stick my finger in her mouth and see if she tries to chop it off. <gasps> oh my god! Ow! Okay, that Cabbage Patch Kid needs to stay banned. Are you hungry? Yeah! Choo choo! Choo choo! Oh my god! I think she's choking! I think she's choking! Oh, she spit it out. So right here we have a sealed package of Sour Altoids and these expired in 2005. You were four years old when that expired. Yes, I was. Oh my God. And believe it or not, I bought these for a whopping $75. For Altoids? <laughs> and I actually got a good deal. I looked on eBay and people are selling them for $10,000. We should just sell these. What are we doing? Wait, you're right. Wait, we don't need to eat them. We'll sell them for 80 bucks. Make a profit. Well, I already opened them, so we're gonna try them anyways. All right. <gasps> oh. Where's it? Oh my god, I was not expecting that. No, I was so excited. Dude, people are spending $10,000 on these things. And they're probably coming like this. This is what it's supposed to look like. The form is like, it looks like candy. And this is what they look like 18 years later. Oh my gosh. Even just trying to eat this is a struggle. Here we go. Oh my god. It's sour. Mm -hmm. This might be our last day. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you too. This is a Nintendo 64. It was discontinued in 2002. A lot of them don't work anymore, but we were able to get our hands on one that does. We're gonna play Madden 2000. I don't like this game because uh, when I played this when I was little, my brothers would always beat me at it. Oh, now your sister's gonna beat you at it. Yeah, you're funny. Look at the graphics. It's so bad. What's happening? Ah! I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing random buttons. Okay, safe to say Nintendo 64 still works. I'm gonna leave Brent here so he can get a little better I can't game. play by myself, like see? Well, you need some practice. <laughs> so these are magnetics, and they may look like a safe and creative thing to play with your friends, but they were recalled in 2006 for safety reasons and a choking hazard. So let's hope we don't choke on these. I'm gonna attempt to build this thing that's on the box. Done. So I don't know about a choking hazard, but I'm getting a little choked up at how good of a job I did. Look at that resemblance. This is a Furby and they were discontinued in 2002 because apparently they would catch on fire. This is really creepy. Now this toy is probably one of the creepiest ones, if I can get it open. This comes with a little dictionary, so we're gonna say some of these phrases and see if it works. Aye aye. Alo. Bobe. Do. So the phrases are not working, but it says that if you rub its back, it will turn on. This is really weird. I think it's safe to say that this thing just Oh my God! I guess it's banned for a reason. This definitely does catch on fire. And there goes its ear. I'm sure you guys have heard of Red Bull, but have you heard of Red Bull Cola? This was exclusive to Germany, but banned in 2009 because apparently it contains illegal substances. Wait, so should I be trying this? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, the expiration date on this is October 9th of 2009. So this is 14 years old and we're about to take a sip. Whoa. It smells like Coke that's been like poured into a basement and then like sat there for like 20 plus years. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the grossest thing I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, it's like spicy. I'm not kidding. My tongue is like tingling. Well, it's 14 years old. Oh my god. Hey, this is awful. Yeah, this should be banned for sure. These are soccer boppers. You probably think that they were banned for an obvious reason, but it was actually because the company got sued. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, Jeremy. What? Hey! Hey, give me one of these. Give me one of these. Okay, I can see why this freaking product was discontinued. We're not using these anymore. Underball. These were discontinued in 2004 because of choking hazards. The chocolate ball that has candy inside the chocolate and it comes with a toy. With the best of both worlds. You get an experience and you get the taste. Oh, and it's Super Mario Bro. Keep going, you're almost there. Ah! Collect 18 coins, one coin inside. Oh, how cute. Careful, Lexi, it's a choking hazard. Oh, yeah, oh, maybe that's the choking hazard, actually. Oh my god, it's falling apart. It's broken! Oh. So since this was discontinued in 2004, we're not gonna be trying the chocolate because that's just not safe, but I'm gonna try candy for ya. Oh my god, it's disgusting. 
It's not good? No. What does it taste like? Oh my god. It's that bad? Yeah. Ugh. See, I wonder what it tasted like in its prime. Ugh. Not when it's like this old. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Keep, Keep going. going. You're, You're almost, almost there. there. These are Elmo's Tickle Hands, and basically they came out in 2009, but were discontinued in 2010. Put these on, and you just tickle whoever you're next to. Wait, why are they discontinued? Well, probably because nobody likes to get tickled. Like, I hated being tickled. Well, looks like we're putting on the Tickle Hands, oh, though. Oh, no. All right, the ticklers are on. I'll give you five seconds to run. Go. Five. Stop. Four. Stop. Three. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> Oh, you're freaking slow, bro. I caught up to you so fast. Hey, what are you doing if you look on your bed and it's me with these Elmo hands? Like at 2 a.m. Jeremy, why do you have to make everything weird? I know where you live.